I wake up every morning with two thoughts. Number one, how do I make my bosses more money? And number two, how do I get some of it? And when I put it like that, there isn't anybody that's not going to be receptive to what I want to say because they recognize that my number one mission is to make sure they're successful. And when you have that kind of mentality, it opens the floodgates because it makes an inordinate amount of people receptive to what you're bringing to the table because they know that you're trying to create something that they stand to benefit from as well, not just yourself. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Elo Speaks back in one other video. And... As you know, I did a previous video on Stephen A. Smith before and his clownish take, but he's just a gift that keeps on giving. And so far, he's given another clownish take. Um, so recently, he was on a, a interview on a TV show and he made a statement on that show. And as you saw the video, you could. He also doubled down on it and put it on Twitter as well, saying that when I wake up every morning, I have with two thoughts: How do I make money? From my, how do I make more money for my bosses and how do I get some of it and right there you already know I think he knew that that take was going to get a lot of backlash for that take because of how quote unquote slavish that sounds to some degree of him even saying that um, I'm not going to I'm not going to get into calling him a coon or saying he's a sellout and all that I think it's redundant at this point to even call him that I just want to break down why what's wrong with what he just said now I don't I like as a person who's working for a job I think it's best for not just people but anybody to strive to be your own boss if that's for you being not everybody is built to be a boss not everybody is built to be an entrepreneur and maybe Stephen A. Smith to some degree knows that he probably don't see himself as running his own company, running his own business, running his own media. That's probably why he's so close to ESPN so hard. But this type of message that he's sending out to the masses is not a good look. And I don't get what he was trying to, like, what he would expect by saying this type of statement. But this is a wrong message to put out because it just shows that you have a slavish mentality and you... I feel like if God forbid, like you ever got fired from ESPN, like what would you do? Like me personally, I don't like I could give two Fs about how to make my bosses more money. Like they're already making more money as it is. And then for you to say, how do I get some of it? It sounds like you're like you wanna make them get the money and then you wanna get like the crumbs of what's left of it. The correct statement was saying, how do I make how do I make more money for myself? How do I elevate myself? How do I become a boss? How do I become better? That's what he should have said. But this type of statement right here, nah, this ain't it, bro. I, I can't agree with this at all. And normally, I like to lambaste Stephen A. Smith for his ridiculous take, but this is a more, uh, more of a personal take um, because it's regarding himself and another athlete. Um, some of the, you know, I usually like to get on him because of his toxic takes on people like uh, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George and LeBron James and so on and so forth. People like that. Because, you know, he, you could tell he's giving like a biased take depending on who he rocks with, who he's able to talk to, get interviews, who get scoops, get um, infos, information. You could just tell by how glowingly he speaks of people such as Chris Paul. Kobe, AI, Melo, but then he downsplays people like Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, and other uh, sports athletes that he's not able to get any type of information or interviews for. But when it comes to this person right here, nah, I, I, I 100% disagree. Now, there are people who probably do agree with his take, as shocking that is to believe. But I just feel like in this current climate of, you know, because, you know, the United States is a capitalist country. I think it's best for you to be your own boss and try to elevate yourself and try to be an entrepreneur. Have multiple streams of revenue coming in for yourself and try to elevate yourself and add another company, another boss. Because, like, what does that do for you in the long run? Because, like, we're all of us, you know, we're not going to be here forever. These companies, yeah, they they have good benefits. They have up like upside. The money's good, you know. The, 
the fame is good, all that, but you already know, if God forbid the, this company or your bosses were to fire you, you'll be gone the next day, they'll replace you and they'll keep it moving. Now, I do give Stephen A credit. He is a great entertainer. I wanna take nothing away from him. He earned everything that he got to this point right now. He's a great entertainer, very intelligent. I, I may get on him about his takes, but I just don't like the biasness of his takes, so that's why I'm gonna call him out on his clownishness whenever he makes an idiotic take. But every dollar that he's worked for in terms of working at ESPN, he's earned it. And like he's earned it and more. He's the face of ESPN. He's on first take. He has a Stephen A. Smith show. He has his radio show podcast. He's on multiple shows. He's basically, he is ESPN. He's the face of it. He's the most entertaining guy. He's the most hardest working person at ESPN. And I give him 100% credit for that. But when it comes to statements like that, saying, how do I make my bosses more money? And how do I get some of it? No way in hell do I agree with that. No. Now, if you want to, what I do, what, what type of, a statement what he should have said is how do I elevate myself how do I elevate people around me but he says how do I make more money for your bosses well your bosses already have a lot of money and you need to if you're trying to be on that type of level like them then you need to figure out how you're going to try to make that type of money for yourself I'm not, I'm not an economics major I don't I don't deal with finances and you know Stephen Smith is in a way different tax bracket than me so he, he, I'm not saying he should know about money, but he's making more money than I could ever see in my lifetime. But for him to come out with this statement, that's just not it. And I'm very disappointed he even, like, had this type of mindset. But he's always had this type of mindset. It's this, like, quote-unquote slavish mentality where it's like you have to be a good old boy and you have to follow the rules and, like, just, like, be in a cubicle type like he he has a type of person he will he's the type of person he will like work for a company and like even if he doesn't grow in the company as long as the company's succeeding he'll be happy and that's not it especially in this day and age like you know when the income is not enough you need multiple streams of income you need to find multiple ways to make money hustle do whatever you got to do to make money but to make your bosses richer who's already rich at that no nah, no way um, this is just a quick little video I wanted to make because this, that statement just really kind of irked me a bit. So I just want to put my thoughts out there on Stephen A. Smith and that ridiculous statement that he made on that interview and then doubled down on it on Twitter. But, you know, it is what it is. That's how Stephen A. Smith is. That's how he rolls. That's what he's going to be. Um, this is part of the criticism that he gets outside of sports. But that's for a whole other reason. But... It is what it is. Those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Do you agree with Stephen A. Smith? Do you disagree with him? Write it down in the comment section. I'm out. Peace.